Alright. Cool. How much of the spice is in frame? Just so I know. Good deal. Alright. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm uh, uh, thinking of a specific thing. I got the rest of it. <laughs> What's up, rioters? It's Caleb from C4 Outdoors. Today we're talking about camping spices, how to bring them, what to bring, and how to save room in your pack. So. Roll our intro, because we actually have it this time. Welcome back to the Spices Life Podcast. Imagine, if you will, you're going camping, like you do. Like you do. I don't know why I have these on still. So when you're loading on a trail, you usually have two main concerns. Space in your pack, and weight if you're a simp. There's a lot of different solutions that you can use for your trail spices. The easiest one for most people is going to be grabbing some kind of seasoning saw, whether it be Lowry's or Adobo. Another thing that can add a lot of spice on the trail is going to be bouillon cubes. Beefy. Now, you can't take them in their original container, but that takes up, I don't, I don't know, 18 cubic inches. So what I like to do is I will take one of these little Ziploc bags and just put a couple of them in the bottom. So then you're left with this space instead of this. Your other option that I explore a lot more when I'm out on the trail, um, mostly because I like, like inflicting my horrendous taste buds onto other people, is you have the ability to make your own spices. But what you can do is take any spices that you happen to have around the house and make your own spice mixture. Um, and you gotta consider it the, before you start adding in what you're gonna be cooking on the trail. So I do a lot of potatoes, a lot of eggs, a lot of steak. So I like to make a mixture that'll go well on all of those. I would start every mixture, every flavor is gonna be complemented by salt. Now you'll notice I have coarse kosher salt on here. The reason I'm using that without iodide added is iodide actually goes acrid at 350 degrees. The problem with that is a lot of stovetop or fire cooking gets above that, so you'll start to get this acrid bitter taste in your food if you use normal table salt in that. So I use coarse kosher salt, and that's always my starting block. Now that you have your base of salt, the next base should obviously be garlic. <laughs> I use garlic in almost everything, so it goes in almost every spice mixture. So if you just want to pour it in there, you have what the common folk refer to as garlic salt. Ingredient number three that goes in every time I make it is black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper. And then from here, you have a lot of options. My main options, that I like to use in almost every mix, turmeric or paprika, your choice, onion powder, cayenne pepper. Those are my three staples. So, we don't use cayenne pepper because Casey did. Onion powder. <laughs> and last is the cayenne pepper. Now you can add a little bit more, a little bit less. I like to keep my cayenne pepper usage on a little bit of low low because a lot of people I camp with are simps, like the hokey pokey. We shake it all about. Now you have yourself a nice spice mixture. Now, I prefer to use it like this and sprinkle it. I prefer to sprinkle it on my dishes. However, your other option is to take any old spice container that you have. And once you have it mixed, it goes in there fairly well. And now you just have a spice shaker full of your own all-purpose seasoning salt. Uh, you can bring multiples of these, and it's a lot more versatile than trying to take every single ingredient with you out on the trail. Because if you're thinking like a 40 liter pack, if I wanted to take all of these ingredients, how much of my pack is just for, not for food, just for the spice? Who controls the spice? So this is gonna be my base mixture that I use as a starting point for almost every trail seasoning that I do. You can add other things to this. You can add paprika, chili powder, mustard. One of my favorite things to add to this seasoning is chicken bouillon. You can buy it loose in big containers and you could just pour it in here and I would say it doesn't make everything taste like chicken. Every time you eat something on the trail, you could just say, tastes like chicken. Okay, so of your options, you have pre-made seasoning salt, you can make your own, you can take bouillon on the trail, but whatever you do, you should always take flavor with you. That's gonna do it for the day, guys. Make sure, leave a comment down below, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you later from C4 Outdoors.
I have to stop every time you make noise. <laughs> I just want to point that out. I'm really bored because I don't have a phone. What am I supposed to do? Carve sticks? <laughs> um, you can go in the wild and hunt garlic with your 22 long rifle. Right there. With the blowgun. Because <laughs> you're a naturalist. Damn it. <laughs>